everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you're doing great and we're going to be taking a look at what is going on with the area to watch in the Caribbean. So as we can see, looking at the graphic from the National Hurricane Center, there is a 60% chance of development. So uh, it's, it has been at 60% since the 7 p.m. advisory or outlook rather last evening. So maybe by later today, this will be at 70% in red which would indicate a high chance of development during the next seven days but even with that there is no guarantee that we'll see development and uh, that will all be dependent on how conducive the environmental conditions are so we're going to be taking a look at what is currently happening across the caribbean the rainfall forecast for today as well as some conditions out there and the ensembles for the gfs and euro so let's get things get started looking at the satellite imagery and there you can see some activities out there across the Atlantic are not affecting anyone and there's also that front so in the Gulf of Mexico though we're seeing all of that increase in convection which was forecast a lot of heavy rainfall across portions of Texas Louisiana and that will continue toward the east affecting other states of the US southeastern states but as we go into the vicinity of the Caribbean let's zoom further in here we can see that there is some shower activity developing across the western part of the basin and eventually Eventually, that airflow pressure is expected to form. Maybe as soon as on Wednesday, we could see that airflow pressure form and try to develop, maybe becoming a tropical depression by or before the weekend. So, as we head toward the vicinity of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands, not seeing much, maybe some scattered showers here and there. Across Cuba, it's a similar story, much not going on. Same for the Cayman Islands. Across some portions of Jamaica, there is some shower activity moving through, and there you can see those thunderstorms offshore but for Hispaniola headed to Puerto Rico the Virgin Isles not a whole lot is going on this morning it's a similar story across most of the Lesser Antilles but as we head down to Trinidad Tobago there is some shower activity across different areas maybe sea islands maybe some overcast conditions an occasional shower but there isn't much within the region as we take a look at the rainfall forecast we're looking for more of those shades of yellows oranges reds uh, when it relates to sea and a bit more rainfall activity so we can see that over in the western caribbean with that increase in moisture there's likely to be a lot of heavy rainfall across some areas especially the easterly section of uh, honduras and the northeasterly portion of nicaragua there's likely to be periods of heavy rainfall across some of these areas even for some spots in mexico belize guatemala there could be some substantial rainfall as well as the offshore islands and going down to costa rica and Panama. As we go to Northern South America, there could be some substantial rainfall across parts of Colombia and Venezuela for the Guyanas. Uh, we're not seeing where much is expected, so today is likely to be a sunny day for the most part. Across Trinidad, Tobago, potentially for the ABC Islands, especially Curacao and Benir, there may be some rainfall activity at times, but the rainfall chance decreases from Grenada all the way through to Anguilla, including Barbados. There could be some showers popping up or even some thunderstorms, but a whole lot of rainfall is not expected across much of the northern caribbean a whole lot of rainfall is not expected either but there may still be some periods of some of some showers across portions of puerto rico the virgin islands the dominican republic and haiti jamaica the cayman islands cuba and even up through the bahamas and turks and caicos islands and now let's go ahead and talk about the disturbance so as we saw earlier 60 percent chance of development uh, through the next seven days so as i said by the weekend or so we could see a tropical depression form however that is still not a hundred percent guaranteed and models are showing that we could see something but regardless of development or not it is likely that there's going to be a lot of heavy rainfall across portions of the caribbean so cuba jamaica hispaniola the bahamas Turks and caicos islands should we keep in watch for this system here because uh it could produce a whole lot of activity and with it being a disorganized system, for the most part, all of that rainfall activity could be quite widespread. But what about the conditions that will help to enable development? Let's go ahead and take a look at them and we're kickstarting things with the wind shear map. But maybe a bit confusing, but there's the white outline of the different uh, land areas, North America, Central America.
America, South America, the Caribbean islands. And where we see those red lines, that is indicating those stronger upper level winds, which inhibit development as those thunderstorms grow, those upper level winds displace those thunderstorms. So that is what the wind shear does. But when you see those green areas, that is indicating that those upper level winds aren't so strong, so they won't be interfering much with development. So as of right now, it isn't highly conducive across the Western Caribbean, I'd say. Let's see how this plays out. Let's see if there will be a little pocket of more favorable shear to actually allow for development to take place. But we know that the waters are very warm. And then in terms of the dry air, there is some dry air here and there across the Caribbean, but it is not a whole lot to say uh, completely prevent the development. And now as we take a look at the ensembles going on to the GFS, uh, this goes out to Monday of next week. There we can see that the majority of these uh, members here are agreeing on that northeastward track of the system, so that hasn't really changed. Similar story for the Euro ensembles. However, there are less Euro members uh, on this here, which represents that some of these members are showing that, hey, this will not actually develop into a tropical cyclone. So we'll really have to wait and see what's going to be happening, guys. As I said, development is all going to be dependent on how conducive conditions are. But regardless, a lot of heavy rainfall is on the horizon for the uh, aforementioned areas, eastern Cuba, Jamaica, going toward the Bahamas, Dorsen Caicos Islands, and even for Hispaniola on a whole as we head into the latter part of this week and even into the weekend as well. And uh, in terms of the system and the shear, I want to actually explain something else. So it is likely that the shear may try to prevent development because on the whole models are not showing something very strong. Maybe the most being a tropical depression or a tropical storm. That is if we even get development. But in terms of the shear, that's usually coming in from the northwest or the west and that helps to displace thunderstorm activity as I said. Now should the center of the system pass to the east of Jamaica or over the eastern part of Jamaica, there is a chance that if it is organized, a lot of the activity will remain uh, offshore of Cuba and Jamaica as well. But that is only if it is uh, an organized system where it is just lopsided or asymmetrical because of the wind shear. But again, it's likely that we'll see a lot of disorganized activity. But should it actually become organized and the center passes just to the east of Jamaica, then that would spare Cuba and Jamaica the worst of the impacts. And unfortunately for Hispaniola, especially Haiti, there would be a lot of heavy rainfall and even tropical storm-like conditions on a whole. But again, guys, we just have to keep watching the system. But regardless, I'm here to keep you posted. And that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update. So I hope you found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I can. And remember to always be weather-wise.